We're going to be making some amazing Cajun shrimp pasta. Nothing could be easier, but not much will top it in flavor. So make sure you guys stick around the end and sit there and watch me enjoy this wonderful dish that you'll want to make on your own, all right? <laughs> Guys, I will leave a list below for the ingredients. It is a, a fairly lengthy one, just to show more underneath the video, and it'll have them listed out for you, okay? So we're gonna be using a fettuccine noodle for this pasta. Right now I have a, a pan going with some water in it that we're gonna boil the pasta in. We're gonna fry up some bacon, because everything tastes better in bacon, right? We're going to sear some shrimp in that bacon fat. This isn't the healthy meal, all right? So, uh, just, just come along with me on it though. Stick with me. Take the shrimps out. We'll build a cream sauce in there with some beautiful bell peppers and a little bit of garlic and some Cajun seasoning. And we'll add some cream, butter. Oh, just, just, guys, make sure you stick around for this one, okay? Go ahead and get these shrimps marinating before we start doing anything else. So we're gonna use about a tablespoon or so of olive oil. I have some Cajun blackening seasoning here for Sweet Smoky Joe. Um, I'll put a link to the website, but you guys can use any blackening seasoning or Cajun seasoning you'd like. Then I have some Creole Kick, which we're gonna put in the cream sauce, but I'm gonna add a little to the shrimp too. We're gonna do a pretty heavy amount of the blackening seasoning. Okay. We'll add a fair amount of the Creole Kick too. Okay. Give these a stir, get them coated. Just get them marinating off to the side. We have our pasta water boiling. We're gonna add a couple pinches of salt. I'm gonna make it salty like the sea. And then we got about a pound of pasta going in of the fettuccine. Uh, get a little pasta spoon, get them mixed around. You don't want them to stick. We're gonna cook these for about 10 minutes to pretty much al dente, and we'll finish it up in the pan in the cream sauce. All right, fettuccine's working in our cast iron pan right here. We're gonna fry up some bacon. Like I said, we're gonna then sear up our beautiful shrimps in that bacon fat. And we'll actually be building the cream sauce for our Cajun shrimp pasta in this cast iron also. It's all gonna come together in the cast iron. Guys, we have the bacon frying up, the pasta's boiling. This dish is gonna come together relatively quickly. So once the pasta's to al dente, we're gonna move it to the side, and then we're gonna start kind of building that cream sauce. All right, it's gonna go really, really quickly. The cream sauce is not like overwhelmingly thick, it's not a gravy, but we're gonna, we're gonna let it reduce down a little bit, okay? Now the bacon, we're not done with it. We're not just using the fat. We're going to be uh, crumbling it up and putting it over the top of the pasta too. So bacon never hurt anything. Uh, I'm sure, you know, the health department probably disagrees, but you know, everything, you know, tastes better with bacon, right? Okay. All right, back to the cooking. Bacon is nice and crispy. It's time to get these shrimps on, get them nice and blackened. You gotta be careful with these cast irons, they get nice and hot, don't they? These are only gonna take about a minute or so each side. And then we'll pull them off and let them uh, let them rest a little bit on the side while we build the cream sauce. Now, as we build this cream sauce, it's not going to be a traditional like white luxury sauce, right? We're doing nice and rustic in the cast iron, so it's going to pick up all the bacon bits, all that blackening seasoning from the shrimp. So when you're cooking this, don't think that the cream sauce is going to be all nice and luxurious and white and all that. No, it's just gonna be a nice rustic and full of flavor. Just trust me on that, okay? So, all right, back to the cooking. All right, let's give these a flip. Now, I am going to be, you know, I'm cooking these whole. I'm gonna keep them outside of the, the pasta for, you know, kind of the decoration style for the pitcher. But one thing I would be doing if I wasn't making a YouTube video about this, I would probably, still kind of cook this in the cream sauce and you know let the flavors get in there with uh you know get those shrimp flavors in there too but again i'm gonna leave these out for the pictures that i have to take of the, the food because that's you know part of the drill but consider leaving it in there and finish it in the cream sauce with the pasta the shrimp are done we're gonna put them aside add a little bit of olive oil in there All right then we're gonna add add about a cup of diced bell peppers I'm gonna add a pinch of salt to let it uh, let some of the moisture out. 
And what it's gonna do is kind of help us scrape up them loose bits on the bottom here of all that blackening seasoning. Okay, we'll let these go for about three, three to five minutes. Get a little translucent. We're not trying to get all of the color out of here. Obviously, we want to have that good vibrant color in there. Next up, I'm gonna add about a half a stick of butter. Like I said, this isn't the diet platter. Then I'm gonna add a tablespoon or so of minced garlic. Doesn't matter who minced it. Get this all worked around. It's looking good, coming together real nice. Right team, next up, got a full cup of cream in there. I'm gonna use my little whisk thing here to start bringing it all together. Got the butter, the oil, the Cajun seasonings on the bottom. Gonna let this all kind of reduce a little bit and we'll have a perfect little cream sauce for our Cajun pasta. We're also gonna add a little bit more of our Cajun seasoning. Guys, this is gonna be like heavy duty flavor going on. And then just cause it's Mardi Gras, I'm gonna add a little Louisiana hot sauce in there. Say about a teaspoon or so. You can go more if you like. If you like a little heat, a little spicy. Go for it, but this will give it a nice little kick, but it won't burn your uh, won't burn your eyeballs out. So our cream sauce is thickened up pretty well. Like I said, we're not going for like gravy texture here. We just got a nice, gorgeous cream sauce here. So let's add the pasta in and finish up the dish. Whoa. Look, if you ain't making a mess while you're cooking, you're not trying. <laughs> okay, I kept some of the pasta water too. Guess I needed to thin out the cream sauce here, but I'm feeling like it's doing pretty well. So I don't feel like we need to loosen it up at all. We're gonna let this go for about another minute or so. Let the cream sauce kind of get going with the pasta. Let it finish up in there. Then we'll get over to the kitchen island and get it plated up. Time to plate this dish. Guys, I am not like a plate decorating guy, so <laughs> I'll do my best to make it look right, look good. I am not a plating expert by any means. Let's add a little of the bacon, because you know bacon makes everything good. I'm gonna add a few bell peppers, the uncooked ones around it, just so it picks up a little bit in the picture. Then of course you gotta have some green onions. I'm gonna give it a little uh, grating of some Parmesan. And then of course we gotta lay some shrimp around it. And we'll do a little yin yang on top. All right, there's the dish. We are done. That's right. It took a while to plate this up because I want, you know, wanted to have it kind of layered out, make it pretty for the thumbnail, that picture that you click on for the video. This cream sauce, you could definitely taste the bell peppers in it, okay? So if you're not a huge fan of the bell peppers, maybe kind of cut the recipe in half or don't put them in at all. Just giving you that option. Little garlic cream sauce, never hurt anybody, but I like the peppers. So cheers. That bacon is everything. <laughs> all right, let's grab a shrimp. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know it's good. <laughs> that uh, that Creole kick gives a little kick. You don't get a lot of heat from that hot sauce, but that Creole kick gives you a kick. And that Cajun black seasoning that we put on the shrimps, it definitely hits, all right? Good stuff, guys, done with this one. If you wanna become part of CJ's crew for real here on YouTube, hit that join button. Become a show producer like all these members right here, all these lovely, beautiful people, right? Anything in my videos you want to use, cutting boards and knives, all that good stuff, merch is all down below. Make sure you check it out. I will have this recipe written up on cookingwithcj.com by the end of the week. So make sure you go over there if you want a printable recipe. But that's it for this one. Thank y'all for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.